Senator Platt. Honorable Senators, today I also rise to speak on the horrific tragedy of finding 215 children's bodies who died at the Kamloops Indian Residential School. These were children, colleagues, children. 215 precious lives cut far, far too short. All human lives have intrinsic value and the finding of these 215 body devastates me. It devastates me that residential schools are a very real and very dark part of our country's history, and it should devastate us all. I will never truly understand the pain that families impacted by and the survivors of residential schools have gone through. This discovery reminds us that our collective reckoning with the past is an ongoing process. Truth must not be sought once, but persistently. To me, Prime Minister Stephen Harper's formal apology to residential school survival in 2008 was a crucial first step of laying the groundwork for ongoing reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. Then in 2015, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's final report evidenced what Indigenous peoples already knew, that thousands of Indigenous children's lives were lost through malnutrition, disease, and abuse in Canada's residential schools. The number of children who died at Canadian residential schools could be as high as 6,000, but the quantification of these deaths does not make the forgotten graves in Kamloops any less tragic. The Kamloops finding is a tragedy that is troubling to all Canadians at this time, as it resurfaces pain for those who have been directly impacted by residential schools. As we seek the truth of our past, we cannot let our hope for reconciliation fade. We must continue to face the pain of our collective history. We owe it to the families who lost children through residential schools and to the school survivors to keep pursuing and working to together to foster renewed hope for a better future. On behalf of the opposition in the Senate, I wish to offer our condolences, our thoughts, and our prayers to the Indigenous peoples, families, and communities who are suffering and mourning. I join all colleagues in this chamber in a moment of silence to mourn the lives and the deaths of 215 children. Let us take a moment to honor them, and may our gesture of respect offer some comfort in these difficult times. Thank you.